Hey, yo, what to do my melanated ones? Y'all know who it is. Hey, yo, check it out, family. I guess y'all see already. I have already changed the name of this channel. I mean, there is no more drop dime. At the end of the day, we trying to switch this up. So from there on, it's a drop report. Like I said previously, man, you know, YouTube been trying to send me through the motion recently for upload material and all that from Jay. So to avoid them shutting this channel down, I figure why not try new things? I'm going to switch it up a little bit. You know, I still push this movement with Jay. I don't want nobody to get this situation confused. You feel me? Just for the simple fact, I've been putting up videos, I mean, recently and all that. And I'm guessing a lot of people, not even a lot. I just don't want to, I don't want nobody to feel no kind of way like I'm turning my back on this movement. If you notice, every video I have always pushed recently was asking y'all a question. Because, you understand what I'm saying? Since Jay not pushing these videos out and I've been hearing, and I don't care what nobody say. See, I get these emails with people questioning me on, oh, how you still rocking with this dude? I mean, and at the end of the day, like I've always said, man, to each his own. I don't force nobody to look at none of these videos. I mean, but I just wanted to switch it up for myself. So, I mean, I'm, I'm reporting everything. Like, this channel was based off reporting everything. This channel was really not based off, I mean, straight off Jay. You feel what I'm saying? Before Jay even hit the scene, this huge, I mean, drop down was always popping. But, I mean, I'm the type of person, man, because like I said, I have three different YouTube channels. I monitor what I put up. I mean, Jay got hot for a minute, so of course I want to spread that good word. So, I mean, at the end of the day, just because I'm not putting up Jay videos, which he's not even really making no more these days, I'm not abandoning shit. That ain't what I'm doing. I mean, I was in this movement before most of y'all even knew this movement even existed. Just for the simple fact I picked up on Jay early when a lot of people didn't even know who Jay was at the moment. So I'm not abandoning shit. I mean, everybody don't have to agree with everybody all the time in order to stand for something. That's what people got to understand. I stand behind JB. I mean, I stand behind family members that be wrong all the time, but I stand behind you because you my family member first. Right or wrong, you my family member first. So I'm going to rock with Jay. You know what I mean? That dude got good. I mean, ain't like I've always said, ain't nobody perfect. That dude ain't never said he was no perfect man, so you got to take the bitter with the good. What you got to do sometimes, people, is put this shit on a scale. I mean, I understand you feel he got a, 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 a ego trip and all that going on. But weigh out the options that he's giving people, though, B. It ain't like he's forcing none of this information on y'all. YouTube is an optional button you click. If you don't like what this dude is saying or the movement he's trying to push, yo, it's, it's millions of videos out here that you can go watch. Don't nobody force this on y'all. You understand what I'm saying? But the reason why I did this video, the reason I did this video was based on, and, and, and recently, like I, a couple of y'all, I guess, already know, I went and got my concealed carry license. I mean, and there was a lot about this class that I guess about guns that I thought I knew that I didn't know. And I advise all my good people, man, if you do not have a felony, if you don't have nothing holding you back from your local area, from letting you get a gun permit or anything to defend yourself, and I have always promoted Defend yourself first. Everything comes secondary because guess what, baby? You got to make it home too. You want, Oh, you got to protect your home too. It's just not for the mother people, man. We need to learn to do the same thing. I mean, I feel like this. So many of us have no problem running around illegal with a gun. Why not legalize yourself when you don't have any felony to first to stop you from doing this? People always feel like, well, nah, I can't do it because I've been locked up. Guess what, baby? Me too. I mean, it's only felonies they looking at, yo. If you ain't got no aggravated felony, man, you are fine. Go spend your little bit of money and learn how to protect yourself. Not even learn how. Because like I said, man, I, if you had an axe drop this probably a couple of years ago, I thought I knew everything about gun safety and guns until I took this class. This class is well needed. You understand what I'm saying? Because just because you have a gun permit, yo, don't mean you can just go out and shoot people. And you, I mean, I take a self-defense class right now. I mean, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I feel like, come on, man, at the end of the day, I spend way more money doing dumb shit than outside of doing something I feel would benefit me and my family later on down the line. So, of course, I spend a little bit of money to go take these defense classes. I have no problem with it. We waste more money on Jordans. It will cost your simple ass more money to buy a pair of Jordans than to go get you a gun permit and to take a self-defense class. And we don't even get that. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, you come out so much cheaper, and it makes so much more sense. If you want to spend two hundred dollars, baby, go spend that two hundred dollars on a uh, hundred dollars for the self defense class, and a hundred dollars to take the um to get your license. 
$200. That's all it took me. Two and some change. I mean, you are y'all. Most people want to go out and spend two hundred dollars on Jordans. I mean, Jordans ain't gonna. What is Jordans is not gonna make you run faster when somebody's trying to take your life. You got to learn how to just at least defend yourself and your family, man. If you don't care nothing about you, learn how to defend your family. Well, teach yourself how to defend your family. Like I said, drop ran around, ran around forever. Thought I knew everything about self defense. Lo and behold, I knew absolutely nothing. So at the end of the day, if somebody had a broke in my house and I would have shot him. I mean, it's just certain laws, and this goes per state because you got to know the laws in your state because laws do change. You know that, so you can't live in one place and think these same laws apply here, apply in the, in the state you're visiting because nine times out of ten, it don't. But this way, it, it, it benefits you to be aware of where you going and the laws and shit they have in place there. Because, baby, this world is changing. And if Drop ain't never told nothing, if Drop ain't never told y'all nothing else, he told y'all at least try to change with time. You have to change with time, man. Like, Jay ain't got to be on this. Jay ain't got to be on YouTube and IG every day for y'all to keep the same energy that y'all had when he was out here making all these power moves. I mean, come on, man. He put the, if, if you want to say he put the battery in a lot of people back, what y'all running off these cheap batteries? So time he leave y'all battery run out, now y'all have no more energy. I mean, and it ain't like I'm saying a lot of people been ducking off and falling off, but I've noticed, man. The reason I wasn't putting up these YouTube videos about, I mean, the same movement I've been pushing is just for the simple fact YouTube shut me down. It seemed like once Jay stopped making these videos, man, people stopped wanting to push the move, man. Ain't nobody want to put up no more videos. And, and at the end of the day, I kind of feel a lot of them was just chasing money. I mean, a lot of people got their brand built off that man name. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people got their weight up off that man name. But then you get your weight up off his name and then you abandon ship. That mean that shit wasn't genuine. That shit wasn't genuine at all. I mean, you would sit and tell people all in the comment section on how you down for this cause for life. And I'm never turning my back on NFAC and NFAC for life. Bro, I go on some of y'all channels now. Y'all ain't put up a video since the last time Jay posted a video. And I'm not saying you're supposed to. Because at the end of the day, I can't control nobody's channels. But what I can say, man, if you're going to be real about this movement, be real. I mean, don't be no temporary fly-by-night type down-for-the-cause type situation. I mean, that shit is weird to me. And I found out that's what a lot of people did. They built their brand off that man back. And granted, I'm not going to sit here and say I done gained subscribers off that dude. But what you got to understand, see, Drop has three other channels. This was a channel that I felt when I started putting up these J videos. I had I had more than enough subscribers at that point in time to be monetized. So when people sit around and say, well, only reason y'all do these videos is for monetization reasons. Nah, man, I was putting up DJ videos and still was making money off of YouTube from putting up videos before J. You understand what I'm saying? For those that know, man, Drop Dime started off with Kanika Jenkins. The little girl they found in Chicago in the freezer. So you go back and do your research and find out how long that been ago. But that's when I started doing YouTube videos. I didn't just start this when Jay popped up on the scene. I didn't start this when 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 all this riding shit started, which I see a lot of people got they got their weight up off of that. And like I've said, I have no problem. I'm nobody hater. But if you're gonna do this one thing about this situation we in, baby, if you're gonna be in it, you gotta be hundred and ten percent in it. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, that's how a lot of these organizations crash and burn us, cause don't nobody be solid. Everybody swear they ten toes down until it's time to really be ten toes down, and then all of a sudden they turn up missing. I mean, and I see that a lot with going on with YouTube. So for the family, the ones that know drop, drop been around for a minute. I don't want nobody to get this get this misconstrued. You understand what I'm saying? I have been fighting for this cause for a minute, for a very long time. I am not new to this. I mean, I just want y'all. This is the reason for this video, man. Protect yourself. Jay ain't got to be on these scenes. Go get your paperwork, baby. Learn how to defend yours and your family. Cause I mean, I'm not, I, but I, I, I'm not into the Democratic Republican thing. But you know, the Democrats is not against these gun laws anyway. So this is the best time to get it before they shut all that shit down. Cause you know they're gonna shut it down eventually. I mean, and if you don't already have it, you're not gonna be able to get it, or they're gonna make it extremely hard for you to get. So be smarter than the average bear, man. Go ahead and think fast. Get your shit. Learn how to protect yourself before they take all these laws off the table and the shit hit the fan and we out here like sitting ducks. 
I love my people too much to let y'all settle for that. And I'm going to keep beating it in your head. It's drop down like always. I love y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed. Stay out the way and I'm out. Peace.